Hey guys, my name is Tommy Bolin here. Um, we're going to be talking, I'm just going to be talking to you guys about the Special Olympics here in Calgary. No, the Calgary Special Olympics. Yeah, hello again. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys about about how I, how did I start the Special Olympics. What year I did? Okay, I started in 1999 um, when I was living in, in Elliott Lake, Ontario for around, like, I lived in Elliott Lake for around um, 18 years. And um, it was really, it was okay, but but I don't find Elliott Lake that, no, like, hmm. Ellie Lake, they don't really have much to offer because they don't have as much jobs like any well, any other town. Because you got to think, you know, uh, I know they don't have, well, they do have a Special Olympics. But I did, when I was reading the, I saw on the internet, that I heard about the Ellie Lake Special Olympics is going to shut down when they don't find a, uh, a volunteer. It takes quite a, a lot, you know, hmm? to find a volunteer. Because when she heard about the console of the city of Elliott Lake, the coordinator for the Elliott Lake Special Olympics is Barb Hopkins. I'm pretty much well known. You know, I've been in Elliott Lake for 18 years since my parents were divorced. And I, after my dad passed in 2011, because he was sick with emphysema, though, yeah, because he was, when he was smoking so much, cigarettes, not really good for your health. And, um, because, you know, Cause you gotta understand, I like, I don't like Elliot like that often because they don't have much to offer, and uh, you know I'm just stopping and thinking like, just not I'm not trying not to be the idiot or or what, I'm just trying to be not a negative person, just trying to be positive as I can, just, well you know, you know because. But I like being out here in Calgary because this is this is my third year. Well, I mean that was three years I've been here. This could be my fourth year. I think I will stay out here for a little, mm, a little bit around like I don't know how many years. Uh, around like probably I don't know if it's two or three. I don't know, but it's gonna be hard to tell for the future to come. I know I enjoyed. Floor hockey, the most sports of all the Special Olympics I've really liked the most. I always liked floor hockey the most because I've always dreamed of playing floor hockey in the Special Olympics. And um, I like to play floor hockey because I like the Special Olympics. They used to have a team, but now they were not getting enough interest, so they shut it down and they had to sell their equipment and um and all that I started the Special Olympics when I was like 14 at the time when uh I speed skated for 6 years and I did really good it was really awesome and it, like it was really an awesome time I had I very I really did have an awesome time and it was really awesome. Like, uh, I met a lot of athletes. Like, Jason Smith was f funny. He didn't speed skate. No, uh, George Hunt speed skated. So did Vincent St. Jacques. Uh, Kim Pike. Others. To, uh, like, uh, myself, too. And, um, you know, you guys, speed skate was really fun for me. You know, I, I really enjoyed it. I did went to... To Barry for the Provincials of 2003, I did really good. I won one gold. 
probably two silvers and one bronze, and then and I went to the Nationals of PEI, Prince Edward Island, and um, of 2004, I've won two golds, one silver, and one bronze. It was pretty good, and I didn't get. I wanted to go to Nagano, but didn't get picked. But that's okay, though. You know, I just tried. That's all you can do is you just keep trying to go to the worlds. It doesn't matter if I'm good or bad. It doesn't matter because at least I'm just trying my best, having fun out there. I'm not going to stop because I'm going to continue to do what I can to really to make achievement out of, out of these good athletes. I met a lot of great people. You know, mm -hmm. you know, I am happy though that I am going to really. I want to stay out here in Calgary because I love it out here. It's way better than teams. Oh, too. Like I know my like, leg misses me a lot. I understand that too. Don't worry, Elliot. Like Special Olympics, you might see me again, but I don't know when. You know, because sometimes it's a good question, you know, when, oh, well, we'll probably see you, well, I don't know, because, because I know you guys have a deadline, and it's going to really kind of suck that your Special Olympics, if you don't get involved and tear by then, you know, it will permanently shut down, I don't know, but. But I'm not saying not in a bad, not in a negative way, but just a positive way, though too. And um, like I know, I know you miss me too, guys. Like I do too a little bit because at times I know we had, I know I had fun with you guys. It doesn't matter if you're good or bad. At least you're trying your best. No, that I know. <laughs> there's some jokes I was. When I was like talking to my friend Maddie on the phone and saying, "Oh, that Jason Smith drinks coffee and eats hot dogs," <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I know, I know him. Jason Smith says, "No, you, Tommy, you drink coffee and eat hot dogs," and you, he called me, "You Pepsi man." <laughs> <It was funny. laughs> yeah, because. It is funny, though. Know. Yeah. Yeah, well, don't worry, you guys. You know, it, it has really been fun. Yeah, I know. Um, I had a great time, but I went to Grand Prairie for the Provincial Floor Hockey uh, Tournament, though I we played really good floor hockey. The... Yeah, because when I was with Team Calgary Wolverines, I played for. And our team played against, um, we played against other teams too. Like, uh, Strakota Thunder, uh, yeah, we did play them. Well, the first game we played was the Vipers. We beat them by a score 6-1. to one. And we played the Hitman in the second game. We beat them by a score of... Like eleven to ten to four, eleven to four or something. Then we played West Central. Well, I did score some goals, and uh, on Calgary Man and West Central, I scored four goals on West Central, and I scored two on the Hitman. And um, that was about it. Yeah. Then the next, we played Strakona Thunder in the semifinals. The winner that will go to the gold medals. And we won the game. We beat Strakota Thunder by a score of 8 to zip. It was a pretty good game, though. And we faced the Vipers in the, in the, in the last round. They were oh, they were kind of a rough team, though. You know. But they were a pretty good team, too. But I, it doesn't matter if you guys are good or what. You're just trying your best. Having fun out there. That's what counts. It's the same thing that could go to any of you team players out. Any team. 
It doesn't matter if you're good or bad. You're just trying your best and just have fun. You know, it doesn't matter if you suck or what. Sorry, I didn't mean that. But, but you just guys, you got to keep on playing really good. Just think the positive things, you know, not to be the negative and all of that. Because, like, I know I'm with, I'm still with, now I'm with the Calgary Special Olympics for for around, like, three or four years. This is going to be my fourth year or something. I'm happy about it. I like being on Team Calgary. If I had not been on this team, if it weren't for my younger sister, Kate, I would not be in Calgary. I'd be in Elliott Lake for a very long time. And, um... I would not really, I don't like Elliot like that often because the town is not really the place you want to be. I did really had a job at Elliot Lake, but mm, I got let go after a couple of months or something like in 2009. Then the next, um, and when I left Elliot Lake, when my dad was alive, it well, he died May 3rd, 2011, and uh, it was really the best. I did spend my time with Dad because I was there for him. You know, you guys, you have to think the positive things, you know. Sometimes, you know, I know things can get a little negative, but you guys, I hope you guys can do really great. I hope I could get picked to go to the Nationals to represent Team Alberta. And I hope I can do really great. I want to win a gold medal in Newfoundland. Mm -hmm. I hope I can win a gold medal. So, you know that. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll see you in the next video, guys. All right, bye.